Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going for a little off-road adventure. Yes, Beastie and I... <laughs> Excuse me. Just uh, recovering from the flu or whatever. Long story, we'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. We're going on a little adventure. You see, if you look at this mountain here, you see that little round hill up there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but up there, there is a cell phone tower. Now, there is nothing special about a cell phone tower, but that is quite a high up piece of uh, mountain that I've never been to before. Now, wherever there's a cell phone tower, there's usually a long stretch of dirt road that leads up to them, especially on these remote mountain things. And well, seeing as Beastie has been kitted out to... by kitted out, he's got dirt tires, uh, kitted out to go and uh, run in some dirt conditions, I figured it's the first sunny weekend that we've had in about four weeks. So... I want to go ride, yo! Yeah? I want to go ride! Feast and uh, we's going to go explore these mountains! Now, I told you guys that I had that little bit of a cough and that I was recovering from flu or something. Let me put you guys into perspective. I recently started out my bike and I've been hanging out with the bike clubs here in the Halderberg quite a lot. And Ooh, it's actually windy up here. And um, seeing as I've been hanging out with these guys, most of their hangouts generally involve bars and stuff. So when I was working on my bike, one of the nights when we weren't actually working on the bike, I went out to one of the, the KR Plata, and um, it was not really well ventilated. And you know it's a bar, right? And there's like everybody smokes and stuff, and I am not a smoker. So, of course, when I'm in an area where there's a lot of uh, smoking, it's like, you know, I'm, my body's not used to it. And with COVID and stuff not going out for two years and having had COVID and all the wonderful complications that come with that, um, cigarette smoke makes me man down. So I kind of got like a, a hint of the flu or whatever whilst I was working on the bike, but it was not really so bad. And about two weeks ago, I went off to bike night, which is like this really cool gathering of all other bikers in the area. And we go for a group ride and we go to a, a KR plaque and they get a little bit lubricated and off they go for another ride and then they go to a KR plaque and they party till the sun comes up. Well, needless to say, the second KR plaque that we went to the last time with this wonderful thing called load shedding, basically rolling blackouts because poor planning and corruption and all that political nonsense that I don't want to get into, that I don't want to drive that agenda on this channel, um, there was no power, no ventilation inside this bar and everybody, and I mean literally everybody, is a smoker. So, the lack of ventilation just meant I was sitting for about four hours in just nothing but thick clouds of cigarette smoke and I just uh, couldn't handle it anymore, man. That evening I went home and I knew, like, I'm gonna get sick. My chest was sore, my throat was sore, I had like stuffy nose and stuff and so I've basically been spending the past two weeks self-medicating, trying to get over whatever congestion and lung disease I caught from this freaking bar because man, I tell you, it was horrendous. I've had a very, very thick cough and it's been one heck of a challenge. This is my turn off over here. Make sure it is safe to do so. Slow way down. Get off the road. And there we go. Hey! Dirt! Kind of. Ah, kind of. 
and more dirt kind of. So yeah, it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a rough couple of weeks. And uh, today I just want to go out on some dirt roads. Now there was no reason why I couldn't have come out here when it was like wet and muddy and stuff but you guys must remember that I've got very limited dirt experience and I don't really want to gamble in unfamiliar terrain and conditions too much when um, you know I don't have the experience that is necessary so I figured I'd wait till we've got a nice sunny day today is like 27 degrees in the middle of winter like I don't understand how that works but I figured this is probably the best conditions to get out on the dirt because at least the ground won't be entirely saturated and it'll be somewhat dry although judging by what I'm seeing I might be a little bit wrong <laughs> on that anyways So, I don't know if you guys recognize this piece of land. Um, way in the beginning of my channel I created a video about the Khanto Pass, which is this really cool um, historical section of this mountain where the Dutch used to actually carry their ox or drive their ox wagons over this um, the Hottentot Holland mountain range because there weren't these things as roads when they settled here in the 1800s and um, there's a beautiful walking trail that runs up along the top there and um, yeah there's dirt roads all the way up to that little hill over there that's what we're aiming for so yeah I figured we'd just come and explore the world around us and get um, get beastie a little bit dirty you know ah. this water doesn't look too deep but I don't want to take no chances oh, there we go that wasn't so bad And they said street bikes were not made for for the dirt roads. Here is a thing that says it's two minutes slower. I'm always sus of taking these other paths because the last time I did, I binned it and it ended quite badly. Oof. Excuse my idle a little bit there. Shall we go explore? Let's do it. If it's bad, we can always turn around. It's quite soft. So this is the thing that makes me concerned, right? Okay. If a lot of this road looks like that, it means that it's experienced a lot of water. And I certainly do not want to get trapped trying to ride through that. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to take this other road to the right. Oh, here we go. I never done this shit before. Oh my god. That was more fear than anything else. <laughs> A 
Wawel jy ek moet gaan. Cows, some cows. Holy shit! <laughs> I would never have done this in street tires, dude. Holy crap! I'd have seen my bacon. I'd have met my maker. Wow, that was soft. It was like beach sand, yo. Okay, I think if I follow this. Uh, it wants me to go there. I'm going to try this way. Oh, we ain't dead yet. <sighs> Let's hope it's not bad. Oh god, we've bitten off more than we can chew. I don't think I'm gonna get up that. We lost momentum. This is how we hurt it last time. Come on, beastie. You got this shit.
This is exhausting. Look at that. The sand is just, the sand is just so soft. My bike, bike has buried, buried itself, itself so, so that, that it is standing. standing. That's, That's how, how soft this, this sand is. Somewhere around here, it's a stick that, that I used to get, get out. So, I, I think, think I have a formula for this shit. Right. Got to get, get the bike up, put, put the stick, stick down, down, and then move it forward. And then, and then just keep inching my way forward, forward like that. that. Let's check, check this shit, shit right. right. The, the bike. bike. Get, get the, the wheel out, out of the... the Shit. Put, Put a stick, stick there. there. Huh. I, I got, got nowhere. nowhere. Put the second one there. This was a good idea. My objective, objective is to, to get, get into, into this hard shit, shit over here, here. So, so that, that I've got, got better grip, grip. And, and hopefully, hopefully I can get up over that ridge there. If I can, can do that, that, I think the worst is behind me. me. <sighs> this did not go anywhere near how oh, I thought, thought it would. Yeah. 
the traction. And repeat. Appeals, soft, soft sand, sand. It's, it's a no go. I'm sorry, you good? You good? <sighs> that was the opposite of what I wanted to do. my backpack with water behind like a dumbass and I needed that oh I should have walked it first I would have known that the stuff was soft as fuck Almost there though.
Sticks out. We're almost there. One last stretch to go.
we hit another uphill like this first lesson walk it and see what you're in for second lesson if you doubt yourself fucking listen and turn around this is why we have fun sure beastie good work That was exhausting. Let's not do that again, shall we? Oh my god! That was exhausting, yo! Yeah. Just hope there isn't another like that up ahead because if there is, yeah, I don't know. I'm completely and utterly drained. There's no fucking way I can push myself through that again. Oh, oh good job, Beastie. I'm just amazed Beastie had enough juice to keep starting and stopping like that but right at the end I could hear the battery was getting tired of pushing oh man I think the plan is to go through that if it is, there's just no way. Then... Yeah, no, it's not happening. <laughs> this is not the right bike for it, I'm afraid. Look at that. That is soft stuff. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh. not for a fuck. Not today, beastie. We're not tackling that. <laughs> um, no, just no.
I'll be back another time for you. Mark my words, I'll be back another time for you. There's no way I'm going up that. This is rocky. Mm. <sighs> that, that's that's, that's just rock. rock. I'm not going, going up, up over that rock. rock. <sighs> Not, Not eight eight months. Beastie. Let's get you home, baby. I am utterly, utterly exhausted. This adventure has completely taken it out of me. Completely. I have got nothing in me. Wow. Riding dirt will make you humble, people. What's worse is if I face the downhill like that, I have no idea how I would get down safely.
That's where I came up. Oh my god, that's soft. Yeah, I know, beastie. I'm dabbing, can you believe? Come on, BC. I got you. That's going to be a challenge.
Um, Good job, Beastie. Proud of you, boy. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to stitch in my butt muscle. I've been counterbalancing. was not easy. Where you gain experience by putting yourself out of your your comfort zone. That was not easy work. Ah, uh, wow, we. You know what the sad thing is? I think the biggest part of that challenge, part that makes it so challenging, is not that it's actually difficult, but because of lack of inexperience, it's fear of dire consequences that you don't know how to handle. So you proceed with caution, and uh, that makes it massively, massively more difficult. I need to make sure I'm on that side of this strange thing. Okay, let's go. Do not dab, do not dab. Oh, I dabbed. But I dabbed out of the mud. Good job. <laughs> yeah! That was insane. That was difficult. That was a nightmare to some extent. Oh, good job, Beastie. 
Good job, beastie. Let's not do that again, okay? Well, next time we'll carry on straight. So we didn't get to get to where we wanted to go. But look at that. Look at the beauty of everything that's around us here. Beastie got to stretch his legs, grow a little bit past his comfort zone. I call that progress. Even if we didn't achieve an objective. We still got to have fun on a bike and almost kill ourselves in the process. Oh. If we want to do more technical terrain like that, two things, actually a couple of things. First, we need to finish our engine protection. Secondly, we need to reroute the exhaust. We can't have the exhaust sitting underneath the frame of the bike. We need to have a bash plate. I must say though, if it weren't for my exhaust, I probably would have pulled out the sump plug at one point. So. You know, in a way, it did kind of help me not cause massive damage to my bike. Oh, let's take the split this time. Oh. This is more the kind of dirt that I've built this before. I want to take a photo of you, beastie. Oh, wow. Oh. Alrighty guys, so the adventure did not go as planned, 
I am yet to make my way to the top of this damn mountain. That's okay. It'll, um, good things come to those who wait and the reward will be that much sweeter when it finally happens. Oh. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching this video. I do want to leave you with the beautiful sight of False Bay, seeing as we didn't see it from up there. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning into the channel. As always, your guys' support really means the world to me. If you did enjoy this video, or if you're as crazy as I am to take your bike off-road, please give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, why don't you leave a comment down below and tell me what I should have done better and how I could have better prepared for this attempted adventure that didn't go according to plan. But hey, even if it doesn't get go according to plan, I mean, it was still good fun. We got to be out on the bike. I still got to film and bring you guys this amazing video with some amazing views. So yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for sticking around. Remember guys, whatever life is throwing at you, just remember, don't look down, look ahead, and until next time, ride safe.